Welcome back everyone to my Manchester United save on FM17. Today you join me for our final group stage fixture in the Champions League. We are away to Bayer Saw, who when they came to Old Trafford earlier this season got thumped by eight goals to nil. Can we do it again here today? But first, let's have a look at some of the fixtures that have played off camera. Since the last episode, things have been going really well for Manchester United. At first, we had Leicester City come to Old Trafford in the Premier League. We beat them by four goals to one. Mbappe with two goals and Kanye Didrik Roberts got on the score sheet. You'll notice that Romero started in this game. Another good performance from him. Indy Boonham featured in the game as well as Ferguson coming off the bench in the second half. Here is Roberts' goal. I'll just show you, even at close range, it was nicely taken, like a karate kick into the bottom left-hand corner. So much composure from him. Then we travelled to the Stadium of Light to play Sunderland. We beat them by two goals to one. It was Akazaki that got a goal back for Sunderland in the 71st minute, but it was Robert Lewandowski that got back on track with two goals in this game. Then we were back in the Champions League, travelling once again. We were in Belgium to take on Anderlecht. We beat them 2-0. Lewandowski with two goals. Could have been three as Ander Herrera missed a penalty in the 72nd minute. But we absolutely dominated this game. Crystal Palace were up next. We only beat them by a goal. You can see that we had 13 shots, five on target. We controlled possession once more. They only had two shots and none of those were on target. We probably could have had more in this game. But I think Herrera's injury kind of put a dampener on things. But Twan Zabi... Again, fantastic for Manchester United at the back. Gribben featured and so did Diedrich Roberts coming off the bench. Up next, we were at Goodison Park to take on Everton in the Premier League. Looking to continue on our good form, but we couldn't put a goal past their keeper, Sportilo. I think that's how you pronounce his name. Ended 0-0. Twanzevi got booked, but again, another top performance from him. It's really cementing the place in the team. Our unbeaten run in the Champions League this season continued with a 2-0 win over Dynamo Kiev at Old Trafford. Balotti and Rashford on the score sheet. Romero started in goal again, keeping another clean sheet. After coming back from injury, Balotti picked up another injury in this game, but he got a goal for his troubles. And what a goal it was as well. About 40 yards out, 35, 40 yards out, blowing hard. Keeper couldn't do anything about it. West Ham were up next. They came to Old Trafford on the weekend and lost 3-1. Another three points to Manchester United. Lewandowski with two goals. Mkhitaryan with a goal of his own as well. Fully deserved in this game. Martin Atkinson took charge of this EFL Cup quarterfinal fixture between United and Swansea. And it was United that walked out as winners going into the semis. Twan Zabi got a goal in this game. So deserved after some tremendous performances as of late for Manchester United. And you can see as well, it's a hard-fought win this one at Old Trafford as it was a heavily rotated side. Ramiro and goal, Andrew Ferguson started. Tahith Chong also featured in this game. And finally, before we head into our next game against Biasaur in the Champions League, we've just beaten Watford 3-0. Another three goals, another three points for United. Mkhitaryan, Lewandowski and Belotti all on the score sheet. So there we go. We're in fantastic form at the moment. We haven't lost in well over 10 games. Great form to find ourselves in heading into our final group stage fixture. Spurs are still top of the Premier League. Is anyone ever going to be able to knock them off the top spot? It's really, uh, it's really starting to frustrate me now. But we do find ourselves just three points behind them. 15 games in. We've drawn four games. Four of those games were against top sides as well. It's the smaller games we need to be winning and we're doing just that. We're already into the knockout stages of the Champions League after that 2-0 win against Dynamo Kiev at Old Trafford. Who will be joining us? Will it be Kiev or will it be Anderlecht from this group? We're going to go to uh, Biasor now and we're going to rotate the squad for this game. I've given Sergio Romero the same role that he's been given in real life under Jose Mourinho in the Europa League. He's starred every Champions League fixture so far for us this season. Five games, five clean sheets. He's started one game in the Premier League and has conceded just the one goal. He's been brilliant for us. But I'm a bit hesitant about starting him in... I mean, if we get Real Madrid or someone like that in the knockout stages, do I start Romero? Let me know what you think in the comments below. But someone else that's been... A real standout player lately is Axel Twanzebe. Six starts in the Premier League, 7.32 rating. He's been tremendous for us in the, uh, the league, if we just highlight that there. He's made 12 tackles. He's won 75% of those. One of those were key. He's made 83 interceptions. 
323 passes. Needs to keep it up. Wow, there's a lot happening in this episode today. We've got the FA Cup third round draw. I'm not going to sit here and do the automatic draw because there's so many teams to get through. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, draw all teams. Let's see who we've got in the third round then, which will be played in January. Where are we? There we go. So it's a home fixture against Leighton Orient. They'll be uh, relishing that match now. They'll be looking forward to it. And straight away, I'm thinking, who can I bring in? Who can I rotate in the team? Maybe I'll bring in Kieran O'Hara in goal or Joel Pereira. We'll have to start Andrew Ferguson and Callum Gribben and Kanye Dedrick Roberts without a doubt. By a sort against Manchester United is today's fixture. And I've pretty much selected the same team that beat them 8-0 at Old Trafford earlier this season. Fabinho starts, Matt Lewandowski, Martial, Pogba and Herrera in central midfield. Let's go and get another eight. Martial, Martial going and challenge, it's Lewandowski, finds Martial, 1-0, Martial, bit out of uh, position there but he's got the goal and that's all that matters at the end of the day, two minutes in and we're already 1-0 up, look at that though, Lewandowski, that nice little 1-2, Martial with another touch, gets past his man, strikes it low and hard, past the keeper, doesn't know which day of the week it is, oh, I'm just going to change that to close actually. Felt the camera was a bit too far away. We've got a corner here. Mata swings it in. Martial. Martial has made it 2-0. 12 minutes in. Everything we're touching against this uh, by a sore side is turning to gold. We could be in for another thump in here today. I feel sorry for by a sore though. I mean our team is just full of quality. And they're, it's just been difficult for them in the Champions League. It's an accomplishment to make the Champions League for them. I'm going to turn down the highlights here as well. We're going a bit too quick. Fabinho is doing okay. It's an accomplishment for them to make it to the Champions League, but realistically, they were never going to get past the group stages. Not with the likes of uh, and electing United in their group. Marciano through the middle for Lewandowski. Still finds Pogba. It's Mata. Mkhitaryan, Lewandowski strikes it first time and it's 3-0 under 20 minutes gone. There's got to be plenty more goals in this game, without a doubt. What a finish though, Pogba to Mata, they're all over the place, their defence. And look at all that space that Lewandowski was, probably could have took a touch, maybe passed it on to Pogba who was making that dash into the box. But no, he found his spot, picked it out perfectly. And we're now 3-0 up against Biasaur. Look at that. They're at home as well. They've only had one shot. None of those are on target. Sergio Romero probably could have brought his favourite novel for this game to, uh, to read in between the sticks. Are we looking at a fourth here? Martial to Pogba. And it's Twanzebe. Brilliant. He's adding goals to his game. That's his second goal scored now in the matter of a week and a half, two weeks. That's not too bad liking it and it's just a simple tap in it's 25 minutes gone guys and we're 4-0 up I expect it to be let's say 10-0 for that final whistle nice simple tap in there for uh, Twanzebe we've got another highlight here surely we're not going to see a fifth I feel so sorry for Bias or Fabinho pushing forwards here finds Mkhitaryan Matter on for Pogba Maybe I should have really rotated the team and put out some of the youngsters. But I just wanted to get this group out of the way and done with. And I wanted to do it in style. So hopefully you can see where I'm coming from there. I wanted to keep the morale up in the team. I wanted us to uh, pretty much send out a message to the likes of Real Madrid and Bayern and PSG. And Pogba's gone for a long range effort there. Goes wide though. 62 minutes on the clock. It's still 4 now. I'm surprised we haven't, haven't scored any more goals. We're picking up a few yellow cards here. Blinds with the most recent. I'm just... Uh, don't need to change anything there. Going to make a, a final change though. I mean, Fossi Mentz has come on. So is Andre Horta. Just adding the fresh legs, really. Didn't really want them to add anything else to the game. Just giving them minutes. Right, I'm going to push Mkhitaryan to the middle. I'm going to take Mata off. Bring on Rashford. Martial over on the right. Rashford on the left. Let's see how that works for us. Off goes Mata. We need him rested for our next game. Got some big games coming up very soon. Got Chelsea, Arsenal, Tottenham. Games that we need to win if we want to be taking that top spot in the league. I don't think we're going to get any more highlights here. 
by a saw. They've improved in the second half. They've had seven shots, two of those on target now. And they've started to, uh, to keep hold of the ball a little bit better than they were in the first half. Wow, and there we go. That's full time. We've beaten them 4-0. I'm very pleased with the uh, the result and the performance, even though we didn't really see many highlights apart from the goals themselves. We are through to the next round, and it is Anderlecht that join us in the knockout stages as they beat uh, Dynamo Kiev 2-1. Yeah, goal club for United in Champions League Group B, demolition. That was a demolition derby. Youth was no match. Maybe they... Uh, they already accepted defeat, didn't they, by a saw? So I think they put out the youngsters for that game. We'll just praise Martial there. And it looks, yeah, PSG still in the race for Martial's signature. Why is it saying 4 0 to buy a saw? They didn't beat us 4 0. It was us that beat them 4 0. Right, what I'm going to do is go ahead and play this game against Southampton off camera. And then I'll be back with you guys for the Champions League knockout stage draw. Here are all the teams then that are in the hat for the knockout stage draw. Juve and Real Madrid advance through. Real Madrid coming in second there. As you know, United and Anderlecht are into the next round. Bayern Munich are followed by Sport and Lisbon. Monaco just missing out by a point there. Man City and Galatasaray will advance also. And let's keep on scrolling down here. Benfica and CSK Moscow. Premier League champions and leaders at the moment. Tottenham missing out by a point. So do they now go into the Europa League? I think they do. Arsenal and AC Milan are into the next round. So are Atletico Madrid and last season's Champions League winners PSG. And finally, it's Barcelona and Dortmund that are through into this season's Champions League knockout stages. Barcelona looking in the best of form so far out of all of the teams. Six games played, six games won. Maximum points from their group. Let's have a look at the um, the stats then in this season's Champions League. So, goals scored. Benfica on top with 29. I think they were in the qualifying stages, so they had a bit more time to grab their goals. But the best form is between Juve and Barcelona. But it's Barcelona that won all of their games. Juve, I think, drew... Didn't Juve... I think they lost one game. So why is that saying one? Shouldn't there be a, a, a loss there? It's Barcelona that's on top with their form. Maybe it's just because there's only five uh, five games that it's picking up there instead of the six. But you can see, yeah, that's why. So it's because they play Real Madrid on the... Uh, it was their first game of the group stages this season. Whereas Barcelona, they've won all of their games in the group. As I've already shown you guys. Now... I know I said I would keep you guys up to date with how Unai Emery is doing at Real Madrid, who was in charge of PSG for the last couple of seasons, who beat us to the Champions League last season. Now, things seem as though they've been going okay for him, although they did go three games without a win there. They are level on points in La Liga with Barcelona and Atletico Madrid, 15 games in, 35 points shared between all three. Back to the, uh, the Champions League, though. And you'll notice that we are the team that has least conceded. We haven't conceded a goal yet in the Champions League. OK, I've just beaten Southampton in the Premier League. Two goals to nil. Confident performance from Manchester United. It was Fabinho picking up the Player of the Match award. But Martial and Pogba with both goals for United. Just a quick update then with the league table. You notice on the weekend that Newcastle beat City 3-0. I have my fingers crossed that Newcastle would get a win there. But unfortunately, Tottenham won 2-0 away to Hull. Arsenal won 4-2 against West Brom. And Chelsea have just won, so they're back in the race. But we're still three points behind Spurs. Still plenty of time to go. Things are going well at the moment. But look at James Wilson. He's on loan from us at the moment. He's at Sunderland and has scored 12 goals in 13 starts in the Premier League. Top stuff. Here we go then. The Champions League first knockout round is made today. Who are we going to get? Can't wait for this. I really, really can't wait. Let's do the automatic draw. Let's find out. So Real Madrid are out first. They will play at home against Benfica. Andelect, who are in our group, will play at home to Juventus. PSG. Are we going to get PSG? No, we're not. It's Bayern Munich that get PSG. Sporting Lisbon at home against Arsenal in the first leg. AC Milan at home to Atletico Madrid. It's CSK Moscow out next against Barcelona. Dortmund against Man City. 
which means we will play Galatasaray in the knockout stages. The first leg being away from home. What a draw. There's some big fixtures in there, especially PSG and Bayern Munich. Two teams that were in the first two Champions League finals at the start of the save, the first two seasons. So it'll be interesting to see how they get on. But we've got Galatasaray, a game that I think we can we can edge. I think we can get through to the quarterfinals. And you know, I think it's a game, both legs, that Sergio Romero can take part in. I think he can keep up that clean sheet record in the Champions League so far in those two games. We'll, uh, we'll find out. But the next episode, anyway, we'll see us play both away games against Chelsea and Tottenham. Two away games against two huge sides in the Premier League. The next episode after that will be Arsenal and Man City. Imagine if we can get max points. 12 points from those four games. It would be incredible. Anyway, guys, that's it for this episode. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all soon for the next one.